friends, the time has come. This is Grand Finals of the 2022 APAC Continentals. Uh, if you've made it here after watching my deck intros and the four rounds of Swiss videos and the three cut videos and you're now on the last one, thank you so much for being with me on this journey. Uh, and we are going to go into the Grand Finals in... Let's see, about five minutes. So, uh, my friend Ice Prisma has made it all the way here. Um, Ice Prisma is playing the exact same list as I am. Uh, what happened was, I think, like three days before the the final, sorry, not the, uh, three days before deckless submission, or before the tournament, so like one or two days before deckless submission day, um, Axwell, who was on. Uh, newly on our team, um, asked if he could play the Reality Plus and the Lap deck that I was going to bring to the tournament. Um, and I said, of course. And he wanted to, and he asked if his friend uh, Ice Prisma could bring them as well. Um, so they were Meet Space friends. Um, we were like, might as well bring you onto the team. Uh, don't want to restrict you from playing a deck that your friend wants to play. So they both brought the R Plus and the Lat to this tournament. Now, I made some last minute changes in the decks. So specifically in the R+, I was on three Rashidas, no NGO, one and one attitude. And I cut two Rashidas for one NGO in the second attitude adjustment. Um, and I communicated this change to them uh, because I, it was like a pretty big deal. And they made this change. So that's why our corp decks are identical. And in our runner deck, uh, the runner deck was like pretty set in stone, I thought, um, but then Last minute, I was convinced to swap the Nanotech for an Ika, just because Ika has a couple extra benefits, um, like single single remote Anansi. Ika can break that well. Um, basically, just like early centuries, um, you want to have Ika instead of Nanotech. So I swapped the Ika in for the Nanotech, uh, and I think I forgot to mention this to them. So that's why we have one difference in our deck list in the runner, uh, where he has a Nanotech and I have an Ika. Um, funny enough, this is a change that is to my benefit, if you want to think of it that way, because in R+, we've got two turnpikes, and you'd rather have the Ika when you're up against turnpike, but honestly, it won't actually matter, because the turnpikes will just get misdirected. Um, we're going to take tags and misdirect. That's usually what happens against the turnpike. Um, so yeah, Ice Prisma made it through played against um, Edmund Ho, played against Jai, won with the Reality Plus against the Hoshiko, played Market Forces seven times. Uh, if you haven't seen that video uh, on the Nisei stream, go check it out. Um, you get to see a runner helplessly click for credits while the corp recurs Market Forces over and over and over again. Um, and it's an enjoyable play experience, I promise. Uh, next round. Ice Prisma plays Runner against Arlark J, playing the Outfit. This is a pretty, uh, I think this is a pretty gimme of a matchup because the Outfit is like a is like a rush hard like gear check deck with hard hitting news. So get a couple of credits, install boat, uh, and you pretty much win the game from there. So in round three, uh, I played against Arlark J. If you're watching this video, you probably watched the video that was uh, prior to this, uh, and you would have seen that matchup. So that's pretty much what happened again. Um, in this uh, lower bracket finals. And here we are, we're in the finals. I'm running first, so I'm playing the favored match first. Um, that's probably to my advantage because what should happen here is Lat should beat the R plus every game. That's what happened in our testing. That's why Bridgman put the deck down. He lost faith in the deck because Lat was beating the R plus every time. Um, and Bridgman didn't want any unwinnable matchup, and I brought the R plus anyways because I didn't think anybody would be bringing uh, like a Rizeki econ focused drip lat deck. And I was correct, except for the two people that I gave my deck to. Uh, and lo and behold, I'm playing against one of them. So the lat is heavily favored in this matchup. Um, so if I lose the first game, which hopefully I don't, but if I lose the first game. Uh, the second game will be very difficult. The one thing I do have going for me is that, as I said, the deck lists were given to Ice Prisma 
like three days ago or four days ago now. Um, basically one or two days before the decklist submission date. So I don't know how many games uh, he's played with it. Um, and I don't know if he's actually played this matchup where uh, Lat against Reality Plus. So I have more experience in this matchup. So maybe I can pull up a Corp win if it comes to that. Um, but we will we'll see. So that's what's happening. Um, game's about to start. And um, yeah, let's let's get let's get into it. Got to turn my volume down. Um, check that I started recording. And let's see here. So I turn my volume down for myself. Um, have my paper here. I don't know what notes I'm going to take. I don't think there's going to be any notes this game. Um, give us Rizeki and Padtap in our opening hand, please. That is my first, first desire and request. I got Rizeki and Padtap in my opening hand. Look at that. Good stuff. Good, 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 good. Good stuff. Laundry's fine. Um, it's not ideal, to be honest. But one Rizeki, one pad tap is a is a snap keep, pretty much regardless of what the other cards are, because we just we just need to install Rizeki in this match. The Corp cannot do anything because you can install Rizeki, get drip, clear tags manually, click for credits, and your ID also is drip. So we'll get a lap draw, we'll click for credits a lot in the early game. And we'll eventually build up to a state where um, we'll have more drip and more drip and more drip until we can finally rigging up a boat and start running. Um, they kept their hand, so that means they have a Drago in their hand. Okay. Um, let me... I'm gonna pull up the deck list here, but I don't know if I should even do that. Let's see. I don't even know what deck list I'm pulling up. These are literally my decks. <laughs> uh, okay, we got four cards in hand. So draw a card, Rizeki, pad tap, take a dollar. Seems fine. Yep. Ooh. Um, do we want to get all seeing eyed? I think I'll just play it slow. We'll get our lat draw here instead of installing the pad tap. No spin doctor. Good. That could be a tough choice. Oh, I need to zoom in. Okay. So gain money. 
I gain a pad tap dollar, and then you pay a click and two dollars, trash into pad tap. Oh, we're double icing. Okay, so this means that he's not familiar with this matchup. Uh, because you wouldn't double ice there, you trash this pad tap, because I'm not going to run. Um, whereas, like, he's played in Swiss and he's played in the cut, and when people, when you install Drago and advance it, people will, like, will be like, uh oh, I got to run. Um, but actually, you don't. Clear tag, install pad tap, credit, credit, line draw. Oh, we drew the misdirection too. That's beautiful. These dirty laundries can get out of hand quite a, quite easily. Um, yeah, we'll just sit here and do nothing, and it's we're in a good spot here. Um, now I don't want to actually sit here and do nothing because they might catch on to what's going on. So let's draw. Let's run. We're gonna laundry R and D. I could install misdirect actually. Install Ika. Hmm. Yeah, let's install Ika. We don't want to show the misdirect. Well, actually, we just want to install something so that we can steal the Grima. Um, Bologna. If we steal this, we go to five. If we laundry again, we go to eight. There's no reason to steal this. But I might as well. Hmm. Yeah. So the punish here is hedge fund hard hitting. Punish here is hedge fund hard hitting. Um, you could argue I'm greedy stealing this Bologna because it's five whole credits I don't have. Um, but. It's helpful. It's helpful. Okay. Um, market forces is what they want. Ice HQ is fine. So we can like draw two cards, clear tag, take a dollar. Get a laugh draw. And the game very locked down. Um, don't want to get ahead of myself. They have a hedge fund. That's good for them. Um, let's just gain more money. Boat is good to have. Into the depths is good to have. So we have a bunch of money now. So let's just gain that money. Casts is not a good install. In the earlier versions of this deck, I had cut casts for telework contracts and I used and I would play one or two telework contracts um, because we were testing against this R plus so much that I was like cast is a bad card. But then I realized that it's a good enough matchup that you can just play casts still. Um, but installing casts is a bad idea here. So I will simply clear tag install we could install simul chip probably install the misdirect and we'll just click for two and we'll just keep dripping install zero costers there's self growths in the deck so that's why we don't want to install the casts because then it's like double advanced drago self growth rizeki daily casts and we just net negative credits for that um you could argue it makes them use their self growth but uh like it doesn't matter like we can just let it clog their hand. Um, it's not a resource that they're going to use, basically. Um, and there's a very important decision point in this matchup where I need to I need to pick a time to install boat and run the remote. I need to pick a time to to do this. 
<laughs> and when I do that, uh, I need to run the remote for the rest of the game. Because if I install boat and then I don't run the remote, then they might Drago and they might Drago, what do you call it? They might Drago and then self growth the boat and that's not ideal. So we don't want to install boat here. Um, we'll just run this spin doctor to make their hand a bit awkward. So now they're forced to shuffle. So they have a bunch of cards in hand. Then we'll just install Simon Chip, click for $2, pass the turn. Okay. We're just getting cards out of our hand now. Installing ice on the remote costs us two credits. We don't want to do that. So we're just going to put cards down. Um, and the, the corp is kind of trapped here. One play that you can make is you can advance your Drago and not give me tags to try to prompt me to run the Drago. Um, because then you can threaten, like, give me two tags in a turn, market forces for six. That's pretty good. Um, I wonder if that's what we're going for here. Ah, okay. Speak of, speak of the strategy that you should take. Um, and now I can just endurance into the depths of the remote, get on another Rizeki, and I think we should be able to do that. Let me just double check. Ice Sweet is Eula. So that's the Eula is like tech for this, is tech for boat. IP block, funhouse, mausolus, turnpike. I'd love a rigging up here. Advance advance into market forces is kind of bad. I might be okay with that though. Honestly, I think I am. We're just gonna leave it. Beth is not good. Claude is not good. Um, we can draw again. Tapworm is good. And then we'll take a credit. Let's pitch Claude. Let's pitch Boat. Let's pitch Beth. Daily Cast might be useful later. So we won't pitch Daily Cast. Because if they lose the Drago, we can start installing Daily Cast. Uh, Beth should never have any value because they won't have any money. But if they market forces me here for six, then they might have a bit of money. I might have probably should have just clicked for four actually that turn. Hmm. Okay. We're leaving it. That is not right. Um, okay, I'll run that now. Install boat, run the remote. Let's live up to our decks. Live up to our decks name. Install boat and run the remote. Then we can pull up another Rizeki, get our misdirections already on the board. Um, again, from now on, we have to commit to running the remote every turn. But uh, that should be OK. OK, so we'll take a tag. And we'll 
I'll take another take. If this is Turnpike, hallelujah. If it's another fun house. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have to paper clip that later in the game, but for now, it's gonna be a boat. Uh, and we'll pick up four credits and install Rezeki here. Gain four. Install Rezeki. We can't install Tapworm. We didn't run a central. Oh, we can also install Parisha. Um, no. And we'll pay one to trash Drago. And let's clear two tags with Misdirection. Someone's typing. Uh, I'm not going to comment about that. I was going to say, yeah, you do have to try something silly, but I'm not going to encourage trying things silly when, uh, when this person is still my opponent and I'm still trying to win the game. <laughs> Draw draw is really good. If we install on the remote, I have to run it. If we don't, I'm going to run archives and get a boat counter. Beautiful. That's so good for us. Um, we'll get a pet. We'll get a tap room down. Get a daily cast down. There's no damage in this deck, so I don't need to worry, uh, except for mazels. So we will draw a card. Let's run archives. Is there a degree mill in here? Oh. Two Bologna's. I will take two Bologna's. Wow. Yeah, like, I mean, they just, they found a bunch of agendas, right? I mean, that's that's how this goes. So, like, against a dull, where there was, like, an early concession, I felt bad. But, um, like, in that game and in this game, it was... Like you get to this point, and it, it is... Um, you can keep trying, but but the chances are, are really bad here. So I tap where my daily cast comes down. Drip is too real for this reality. Let's see if we're doing uh, an interview. We are. We are doing a stream interview. Um, I probably did need to keep everybody here for this, but uh, game is over. We finished the tournament uh, in first place. The Lat lost one game in round three to Jai playing um, Reeducation Neurospike. Other than that, 
the corp was undefeated and the runner went five and one uh i guess six and one so the runner was six and one corp was five and zero um yeah okay uh i'm gonna go join the interview now so oh i'm just clicking through things for people to look at uh i don't know why i'm doing that anyways thank you everybody for watching uh i hope you enjoyed all these videos and uh go check out the nisei stream if you haven't uh Oh, and one other thing, um, I don't, uh, yeah, okay, anyways, um, yeah, thanks everybody for watching, uh, and I will see everybody in the next one.